Okay, so I've seen the first episode of the new Alan Partridge series, this time with Alan Partridge. I'm a big fan of all the various iterations of Alan Partridge. I think this is a, a worthy addition to the canon. The formats may be a bit shaky, but that's often the way with Alan Partridge. When you think about it, the first Alan Partridge show, Knowing Me, Knowing You, the meta-reality of that was a bit bewildering because it was presented just as a talk show, but with an audience that knew it was a comedy, even if the participants apparently didn't. And in this, what you've got is... Um, an early evening magazine show, obviously modelled on the one show. The, the the breaking of the fourth wall bit comes that when they cut away to a VT or a bit of reportage, the show stays in the room with the presenters during the, the, the off-air moments in a slightly Larry Sanders-ish kind of way. Not entirely sure how well that works yet, although it's a good way of getting Lynn back into the show and it's great to see Felicity Montague back as Lynn, although Lynn seems to have grown a pair in the meantime. She was sort of weirdly passive-aggressive to the female presenter. I enjoyed that. There's also elements from previous iterations brought in. Tim Key's sidekick character, uh, Simon, who was introduced for the uh, the Sky TV Alan Partridge shows, he turns up in this in a section featuring some malfunctioning technology, which is probably the bit that worked the least well, if I'm honest. So where do I think this falls in the sort of the pecking order of Partridgeness? Um, too early to say, yeah, it's probably better than the Sky TV stuff. It's maybe not up to the standards of knowing me, knowing you, I'm Alan Partridge yet, although it's getting that way. Um, the ending where he chases his last interview guest through the corridors, that kind of felt like an attempt to recreate a sort of smell my cheese moment. And again, not sure how well it sat within the format of the show, but it was very funny. I suppose all Alan Partridge fans have their favourite version of Alan Partridge, whether it's one of the TV shows or the movie. I'm kind of unusual in that I think the single greatest thing that Steve Coogan ever did as Alan Partridge is the audiobook of Alan Partridge's autobiography, I Partridge, We Need to Talk About Alan. This came out in, I think, 2011, maybe 2012, and it's hysterical, and you have to get the audio version. This is the only book I know where I think the audio book is the definitive version, because let's face it, if you get the text version, be it on paper or on Kindle or whatever, all you're going to do is read it out in your head in the Alan Partridge voice. And Steve Coogan does the Alan Partridge voice better than you. So just let Steve Coogan do it. That's my favourite Alan Partridge thing. But anyway, it's just nice to have Alan Partridge back on the telly and on the BBC where he kind of belongs. And it's interesting the way the character has aged through the years to the point where Steve is actually now quite convincing as this sort of elder statesman TV presenter. It was also quite nice to see my old pal Carrie Adloy turning up as one of the guests. And uh, also Susanna Fielding is terrific as, as, as Alan's co-host Jenny. She really nails that sort of manic perkiness of uh, early evening TV presenters. Anyway, I look forward to the rest of the series. And uh, yeah, do get the audiobook of the autobiography. All right, see you soon. This video was made possible by the supporters of my Patreon project, who help me make fun things while receiving great perks and rewards. If you enjoyed it, why not follow the link and join us?